What it is, ho? Oh, what's up? This big chin ho got snuck. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into some more reunion tea. So as y'all know, I posted part one yesterday, and girl, girl, when I posted part one, you, you, you girls just thought that she was done, baby. I thought that I was done. I'm like, whew, I done got this reunion tea out the way. No, ma'am. <laughs> No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. Girl, it's a, child, just know it's a lot more to go, child. You know what I'm saying, girl? This, and, and we're going to get into it all. Y'all know I got y'all. I am here. I am back again with the reunion tea. We're going to get into it all. We're going to get into everything that the girls had to say because they had so much to say. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post in a video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah. Let's go ahead and get to the mess. So as y'all know, the Baddies East reunion went up as suspected, as anticipated, as predicted, baby. We all know it was going to go up. The girls were just doing too much talking to not stand on business, okay? But from the sounds of it, baby, it sounds like everybody stood on business and they did what they had to do, it, with the exception of a couple people, baby, okay? So as you guys know, Scarface definitely got her karma last night. And, and we beat your friend up and we beat her up. We beat her up and we beat her up. We beat her up. She got a black eye, a black eye. She got reconstructed today. Scarface just got her ass beat, okay? Sapphire fucked her up. These right here, I want, I want you to show what these look like on you, baby girl. Please, show, show what that look like. My friend beat you up, okay? And I'm happy she did, and I'm happy I didn't have to fight, okay? My friend beat you up real big, okay? Kicked you in your stomach. I hope you wasn't pregnant. Ooh, if you was, ooh, that dirty child is going, okay? okay. Makeup off my face. You fucking... I'm using cold. I don't know why. Ugh. All this fucking makeup. We y'all. I'm so mad. In the midst of talking about how Scarface got beat up real bad. Okay, chill. I had to get away. They, they, beat, they beat me real bad. So yeah, in the midst of that, Suki basically revealed that Roly did not help E.T. in the slightest. Okay, E.T. was getting done up left and right, girl. You know what I'm saying, girl. Beat real bad. Roly was nowhere to be found. Okay, Roly, Roly got her check, did her ones with the people she needed to do her ones with, and she dipped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might as well just call her Sapphire 2.0. Okay? Well, no, not really, though, because Roly is really the original fake friend, baby. Because we know, girl, we seen, okay, how Slim was getting mopped all up and down that Batty South stage, baby. And you just let it happen. You ain't help her at all. And you was kicking with Krishan the next minute. Okay? So, Roly really been this. But, yeah, so Suki basically revealed that, you know... Roly did not help her friends. Uh, it's a second. And I sat right mother there. Yeah, yeah. You 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 jumped in when I was fighting uh homegirl, right? You you had threw that drink at me, right? And let's go. Run it, Sapphire. Run it. Run it. The f shout out to Roly for not getting involved. And shout out to Roly for not getting involved. Shout out to her. Shout out to Roly. <laughs> my, my girl said, I ain't gonna lie, Roly, let me hear her so shit. My girl said. Doses. So like I said, Shamu the Big Bag Well is no friend to anybody, child. So by this point, you know you would be under the impression that she did not help E.T. Girl, she just let E.T. get uh, turned every way but loose, okay? No loyalty, girl. Okay, we, we established that, child. But Roly says otherwise. Let's get into what Roly had to say once she clapped back at the girls that was talking day ish. Girl, okay, so Roly basically said, and when did I leave E.T.? I was there during her and Sapphire's fight. Matter of fact, every fight, unless y'all did some ho-ish, after I did my final thoughts and when I went to my trailer, and I told each and every last one of them not to jump in, or we was going to be fighting, okay? Not one of them jump in. 
Okay, like let's be real. Did y'all get hit that hard that y'all don't remember anything? So y'all know that these girls are notorious for run on sentences. They don't know how to punctuate their sentences. So it's basically run on sentences, okay? So to make a long story short, and clearly the girls don't know how to proofread, okay? All right, so, <laughs> so she's basically saying, which again, she contradicts herself. You, you, she, you know, Rolly is the queen of lies and contradiction, child and delusion girl. But let's, 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 let's reiterate what she said real quick. She basically said that she did not leave. Okay. Matter of fact, she was definitely there during Sapphire and E.T.'s fight. Okay. And she told the other girls not to jump in during every fight and nobody jumped in. And she basically asked, of course, did y'all get hit that hard that y'all don't remember what happened? Girl, a roll grows on that big back of yours every single time you lie. Girl, you lie so much. It's like, uh, it was bad enough that you put it on your son that you didn't do what you did to Biggie. You know what I'm saying? It's already bad enough that you did that. Girl, you still running your mouth, still lying. Uh, girl. Girl. <laughs> girl, you are such a lie. Like, this is my thing. It's not even the fact that you're lying. It's the fact that you contradict yourself so much. And I don't think you realize it. Like, you're sitting here saying, you're basically disagreeing with what Sapphire and Suki said, right? So you start off the sentence with, ain't nobody leave E.T. Matter of fact, I was on stage when Sapphire and E.T. fought. Suki and Sapphire never said that you weren't on stage. <laughs> See, like, you, you're, so, girl... <laughs> They never said that you were not on stage. They said verbatim, shout out to Roly for not getting involved. So therefore, they you were on stage. You just let your friend get tapped. You let your friend get mopped. That's exactly what they said. Shout out to Roly for and shout out to Roly for not getting involved. And they specified that you did what you had to do. You came, did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? You you did a little puff, puff, pass. You did what you had to do. You got your check and you dipped. But they never said that you just left E.T. on stage. Which, again, which you technically did. You know what I'm saying? Like, they never said that. But you're so guilty because you know that's what you did. That you ended up snitching on yourself. By saying verbatim. Unless y'all did some whole shit when I left to my trailer after I said my final thoughts. Girl, if you know your friend is beefing with the entire cast and the entire time you was telling them not to jump in any fight and you leave her on stage, <laughs> what do you think they're going to do once you leave? Like, girl, come on, child. But in another breath, Roly also says that Scarface left her on stage with House B and it was up. Again, she says, I never left E.T. She left me on stage for 20 minutes with these girls by myself because she was mad because I checked her about running up on that for no reason when she was supposed to go for Tessiki. Now, this here is some tea, child. This is some tea, Natalie and Scarface, girl. So, me personally, I don't know why she would get into it with Natalie. Me... <laughs> If I had to guess, I would say most likely it's because she probably felt played. She probably felt used. I've been saying this from the beginning that Natalie is using that girl. You know what I'm saying? It was clearly obvious that E.T. was a production puppet throughout. The, you, you could just tell she didn't have her own brain, okay? You could tell she was a production puppet throughout the show. You could tell that they were little, you know, they were... Uh, pu uh, pulling her little strings along and she was just doing whatever you could tell it was so obvious and they your girl they're using you girl you know what i'm saying it, it's not it, it don't give genuine friendship it gave that you got used child okay and and, and now nine times out of ten they're not going to bring you back so they used you nine times out of ten. They're not going to bring you back. Let's really get into how they really never wanted you to, from the beginning. They never wanted you, okay? Stunner Girl just came out the day before that and basically told the world that the executives were talking about Scarface. And a few weeks before Stunner Girl went live and put out that information, baby, Persuasion went live and also said that Natalie from the jump never wanted you there. Y'all, okay? One day I was watching Now That's TV. I seen that this girl was on there. I was like, oh, you know, she might do good on Baddies. Baddies West auditions came around. I tried to put in a good word for E.T. and told Natalie. Natalie said, yeah, no, 
We're not going to do that. We're not going to work with anybody from any other network. Woo -woo -woo. I referred the message back to her, but I told her, keep trying. Things change. He's a messy ass bitch. Like, the day I was leaving, right, I remember um, I told him, like, no, I got to go. I got to go. I got to get to um, wherever my show was. And when I was leaving, that got in his feelings and he immediately posted, like, oh, I want Scarface for a replacement. And what's so funny is, like, I remember I told them about her. I'm the one that got her in. Like, he didn't want nothing to do with her. Said she was dirty. Said she stank at the f***ing grand opening. He said all this shit about her. And I walked her up to him and I was like, you need to put her on a show. And then that's when he got on the microphone and was like, okay, I'm going to put her on a show. Who wants, who wants her on a show? Da -da 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 -da. So it was like, he do that type of shit. Like this is coming out chad all of this is coming out about natalie and et you know what i'm saying how uh the ceo be talking about her how natalie be talking about her dogging her behind her back you know um using her while on the show she's doing all of this for natalie for production she gets you know she girl i, I be saying the comments y'all leave under her stuff baby i be saying the baby I be saying what y'all be saying about her you know what i'm saying i feel like that could also take an emotional toll maybe she mm -mm. And I know for a fact that she's not going to be brought back next season. So maybe she wanted to go out with the bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zeus already used me. Natalie already used me. This girl was never my friend. You know what I'm saying? She looks down on me. This, that, and the third. Productions puppet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? Cool. Embarrassing, but whatever. Okay? I might as well just go out with a bang. So I feel like that's what it was, too. I feel like it was all of that, like, mixed up together. And Automac went live and actually spoke about E.T. putting her hands on Natalie and getting into it with Natalie Chow. And also, I guess in the midst of E.T. trying to sneak Natalie or sneaking Natalie, girl Tessiki, Tessiki got her, Chow. She got her. So let's go ahead and get into it. She ran up to, she ran up on, um, on Natalie. Um, she ran up to her and was like, hey, that's why Natalie been quiet. It wasn't really her big one, though. You know what I'm saying? She tried to do her big one, but Tzatziki ate it up, though, with the... Tzatziki came up with a follow-up with Ada because it's like... We don't know why she did that to Natalie. Was, I don't know if she... I don't know. She probably needed to go up, fight the, the EP. She probably thought, this is her last... I mean, she knows it's her last season. She like, let me just go out with a bang, fuck it. Because they're not bringing her back. <laughs> I mean... They only brought her for one reason. They're never going to admit that. We know the re reason. We know the reason. But I mean, girl, you cold. I mean, I was running up the show. She ran up. Then Tessiki followed up with another live, and she basically backed up on a story. Like, once, you know, in the beginning, after you beat people up, after y'all beat up, they still make y'all come out there and sit with each other and see if y'all can resolve mm -hmm. it. Baby. I, it, like, one thing about me, people always be like, you know, she's a fighter. Dude. I get that. But I do not like seeing my opponent's face. All right, question. Ever. I'm trying to talk. So who ran up on that lady and got beat up? Huh? Because some they was talking about that on Yeah, she ran up on somebody got ran up. Yeah, she ran up on Natalie and got beat the f up. She was like, oh, now, Natalie, she tried to run up on Natalie beat that ass. It's so close to hitting it. I did hit it, I ain't gonna lie. My security say I thought you don't jump, Tessiki. I'm like, I don't. But she knew this was the task. What a <laughs> <laughs> hey. So as you can see, Tessiki just revealed that while E.T. was getting into it with Natalie and she ran up on Natalie, Tessiki felt the need, child, to start eating her up too while she was getting into it with Natalie, child, which of course classifies as jumping, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, girl? And Tessiki even said that, okay? She said that the security basically looked at her and said, girl, we thought you don't do that, but you know, she said, girl, all right? No, now admitting this... It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's just, all y'all, I cannot wait until it comes out because I swear everybody is telling a different story, but it's like the same story, but it's like a different story. Because Tessiki says this, but then turn around and go live and say that E.T. did not get jumped. We did not, the thing is, we did not jump her. No, let me tell y'all, it's called, I made her go five or, f five or six rounds. I heard. And then after that, the whole house beat. They ain't do it at one time. They did it one by one. Then Anna Mac also went live and admitted that they jumped. You know what I'm saying? She also admitted that they did jump ET, and she also admitted that she snuck ET as well. She mad? She got snuck. I literally snuck her. I don't give a. F I put her right in her fucking eye. 
that was the she got a little she got some her face is fat as hell her face ain't never been that fat <laughs> she got them fucking like she should never said she gonna my arm and shit like why'd she come for me so now then i'm not gonna lie she did say she did say so do anybody want some rounds i'm like no big, no biggie do <laughs> so i made biggie square up with her and then i snuck her ain't that all ain't that we we was jumping you bitch. like we was one-on-one -on -one and jumping you i had my one-on-ones and then yeah i think they just like they didn't want to let us get that last round then because they was just like y'all wilding like me et was supposed to get a one-on-one -on -one and i don't know why she's saying i was ducking the one-on-one -on -one. the security guards was holding me back it was 50 security guards holding me back see because one thing about it and two things for sure one thing automatic is gonna do baby is she gonna get her chopstick built ass online and she gonna keep running her mouth and that is exactly what she did so she said and there's no rules to fighting remember house b really ate this up i can't wait basically you know indicating that she cannot wait until it comes out and then she basically said that she fought the biggest and she was sticking and moving child all right so let's get into a little bit more tea all right so supposedly biggie snuck scotty all right crazy uh, uh, allegedly okay scotty said that somebody snuck her the girls kind of put two and two together biggie was really the only one running her mouth about getting scotty at the reunion you, you know what i'm saying because scotty was being was being fake in the house so yeah i don't know how to feel about that honestly it it sounds to me like it's not gonna be that great it's not I, it sounds like i'm not gonna be impressed by it because, because girl uh, y'all know i love me some big biggie big dominicana baby but my baby can't fight, okay? You know, she she don't know how to get down, okay? And Scotty don't know how to get down. So we just gonna see how that fight turned out. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so Automac also said that Fly Tatted Sky also was getting into it with the girls because she was having her girls back in house B. So this also does not surprise me because Fly Tatted Sky did go live maybe like a month or two ago and she did say at the reunion, we are going to be seeing a different her because if anybody, you know, basically try her house, she's going to back them up, especially the girls that she was with from the beginning, okay? Because of course they have grown closer by now. Girl, when I tell you house B, girl, it, it, honestly, it really sounds like house B ran circles around house a baby because house a has been a little quiet child I'm, I'm trying to tell you baby it sounds like karma was served on a silver platter it's crazy okay y'all know how tessiki was basically accusing smiley of jumping into her fight with krishan well tessiki took it to her story and she shared one of smiley's posts and she captioned it and said I love Smiley now. I got my lick back. So, something along the lines of, I got my lick back, so I love her now. Da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, did y'all get into it? Did you like slide her real quick and then y'all made up? Like, what happened? Because Tessiki definitely said that she got her lick back on Smiley, okay? And y'all know how she was claiming that Smiley jumped into her fight with Krishan and her friends. Does that in the third? So we will just see that. Still kind of weird that you just, you know, you just, okay, girl. You got, her, you got your lit back. Okay. All right. So let me think of something else that happened. Of course, E.T.'s friends got into it with the cast. Girl, they said that the girls were spatting at each other through the gate. Girl, it, it is just crazy. It's just crazy. Okay. Now, of course, uh, E.T.'s crew pulled up. Girl, it was a mess. It really sounds like E.T. got the Julie treatment like times 10. You know what I'm saying? And it's also crazy how... Roly, it's it, it's crazy how Roly didn't help, but honestly, I'm not excusing it because it's like, of course, you should have your friends back. But honestly, from the sounds of it, it sounds like Roly ran multiple fades too. It, they just didn't do her as bad as E.T., which I still kind of don't get because I feel like, yeah, like I kind of don't feel a type of way about E.T. getting jumped, although I feel like, you know, like it's it's weak clearly you know what i'm saying she was getting snuck and but girl she was doing sneaking too so it was like eh, fair game at that point y'all all just acting like wheat sauce but you know y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do so i'm a firm believer in you gotta do what you gotta do and you know what i'm saying it's not surprising i knew this was gonna happen but i'm not gonna lie i also thought that roly was gonna get it too it sounds like et got it worse than roly which is insane to me you know what i'm saying like i would expect them to be doing it to roly really because uh, I, I, yeah.
yeah. But anyways, still not surprising to me. It honestly just sounds like the bully got bullied. Like, girl, and, and I kept saying over and over and over in my videos, I'm like, this girl is literally going to have to run multiple phase. If she does not end up getting jumped, she's going to end up getting tag teamed, which is really, uh, it's a difference, but it's like, ugh, yikes. You know what I'm saying? So that last live that I showed you with Anna Mac and her talking her ish and her story, basically saying that she got the biggest one of all. So Rowley did respond to that and she basically said that she had Anna Mac running and how House B is getting on this internet and lying and also how she dropped Camila. <laughs> so Camila rebuttaled and she basically said that she tried to pick Rowley up and ended up on her back. Girl, this is my thing. Camila, why would you try to do that? Like, girl, girl, I like I know your back hurts, yeah. Like, I, I just know you were in, girl. Anyways, so yeah, Roly. As far as Roly, basically clapping back at Automatic, talking about some. I had her running. Me personally, Roly, I feel like he's very smart <laughs> for Automatic to do that to you. Do Do you see her? And do you see you? Yeah. If I was Automatic, I would do the same thing. I'm gonna run around. Okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make you mad. I'm going to antagonize you. I'm going to run around. I'm going to tire you out. And when I feel like you're tired enough, then <laughs> I'm going to get you. What do you mean? You got to do what you got to do. That's why I say they're doing this, they're doing that. No, it's not fair. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. And at the end of the day, everybody was online talking ish. Okay. So for me, even for ET to know how many phase that to know how many phase you had to run and to come up there looking cute like that, girl, no ma'am, no ma'am, baby, I would have showed up in some in a nice little sweatsuit, like a nice little custom sweatsuit, baby, no wig, or if I had a wig, I would have had a braid down, baby, no ma'am, no. If I was ET, no. What do I look like? What do I look like getting dressed, getting a custom? This girl had a custom made dress by Adonis from Bad Boys. Y'all know he's a stylist. She had a custom made dress and a, a, a middle part bust down, okay? To the waist. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. With a full face of makeup. No, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. No. What are you saying? I don't even know. Like I said, for you to know how many faces you had to run and for you to come and you look good, girl, by the way, you looked good. I'm like, yes, you looked amazing. But it's like, no, what do I look like? And then you and then you act surprised when your wig is ripped in half now. <laughs> no, no, no. Rig, wig and dress got ripped. No, 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 no. What else? Like, they're saying that Sapphire and E.T. went three rounds and Sapphire did her in each round. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe. Well, I mean, she. everybody can't be lying, child. You you know what up there? Everybody can't be tell Girl, but they, they said that Sapphire got that. I'm only saying that I, don't, uh, that I don't know if I believe that yet or if I don't know if they're overhyping it yet because I've seen Sapphire get into it. And me personally, I was not impressed. <laughs> Okay, I, I I just wasn't. But we're going to see. We're going to see. But they said that they, you know, she did a little splashy splash. What E.T. did to Sukihana in Jamaica by doing a, a little splashy splash, baby. They said that um E.T. came out on stage and Sapphire did that. And that's when she ran up. So that's crazy. To, I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dang, E.T., girl. A girl. I, I don't know, girl. I don't know what to tell you, girl. It really just, like I said, it really just sounds like the bully got bullied. But they, like, it sounds like they really did a lot. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like the Julie treatment from BGC9 times 10. Like, it it sounds like they just did the most. You know what I'm saying? And I'm honestly ready to see it. Me, me personally, I'm ready to see it, child. But that is all I have for y'all today. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Ma. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, bye.